Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There's plenty of content to catch up on. And if you are returning, well, friends, you know what's up. I just appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel, friends. You know, I love hanging out with you guys. So as some of you saw, I did post on the community page asking for ideas for pick a card readings. Um, and honestly, I was just kind of feeling over the same topics that we cover. And I was like, let's get some fresh perspectives. So I am so thankful um, for everyone that has shared their ideas on the topics that they would like to see covered. Um, I absolutely love it. I have now a longer running list of them. And um, yeah, so if you have a topic that you would like to see me covered, feel free to submit it on the community page. Um, with that being said, today's reading is a topic that we haven't done. So, um, you know, a lot of the suggestions were things that we've already kind of um, covered. So I am starting with the ones that we haven't done, and then I'm moving into cycling through some of the other topics. Um, I know I had some requests for a new future spouse um, reading or a series. I love doing those in, in a series. Um, and then we also got um, several people asking for basically failure to launch readings, like why is someone not uh, making a move? So I think those are all great ideas. Um, so yeah, if your topic isn't covered right away, there's, you know, give me, give me some time. I'm going to be cycling through some of these. So thank you so much. Like I said, for, um, sharing those with me. Cause I was like yesterday when I sat down to film, I was like, I am not feeling inspired. And, um, yeah, as you guys know, when it comes to energy work, if you're just not feeling it, you just, you don't push it. And so I did post a little collective reading, which is part of the new monthly series that I'm doing, which is going to be a birthday reading. I'm going to try to put those up within the first week of each month, but that's basically going to be a reading if your birthday lands on that month. Uh, these will be considered timeless readings. So if you miss your birthday month and there's been one posted, you can go back and listen and you never know, it might still resonate. All right, friends. Today, we are going to be looking into what would they say if they were honest about their feelings? So what would this person truly say if they were being honest about their feelings? This could be about anyone. Um, you know, if I'm talking about it as a romantic partner, then just kind of throw those messages and just take what applies to you. Um, and of course, only take what resonates. You guys know what to do. It is a collective reading on YouTube. So if something's confusing you or you, it doesn't sound like a person you're dealing with, chances are it's not your story and that's okay. It happens. Um, there's a lot of shifts going on in the collective right now that I feel. So you guys jumping timelines, you guys not resonating with the same readers, or if the readings become repetitive, I understand. Sometimes it's just best to kind of put it on pause and maybe take a break, take a step back. Um, yeah, so my friends, three groups to choose from. We have a group number one, group number two, and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking into what would they say if they were honest about their feelings. So we're going to be taking a look into what this person would say to you if they were being honest. Um, friends, it's a collective reading. You already know what's up. If something is confusing you or triggering you or you just don't like what you're hearing, please feel free to click off the reading. That's a sign that it may not be your story. Um, I also want to say thank you to the subscriber that requested this reading. If you guys have an idea for a reading, um, please feel free to head on over to the community page. I have um, the post is up right now and I would love to keep adding to it. It's a nice place to refer back to when I'm just kind of scanning through and wanting to kind of freshen up the ideas for readings. So I am so appreciative of all the suggestions. Um, yeah. All right. Let's, let's get started. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number one. My group number one, please. This person that they came to this reading for. What can you tell us? What would this person say to my group number one if they were being honest about their feelings? What would this person on my group number one's mind say if they were being honest about their feelings? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. Messages for my group number ones, please. What would they say if they were being honest 
about their feelings, what would they say? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. We have the Fool. Ooh. All right, we're catching the vibe already. They're regretful. Yeah. All right, well, basically, well, they're showing up as the emperor, right? It doesn't seem like they're talking. They definitely don't express themselves very well. Um, so if you're definitely fighting yourself in this reading, we're going to leave him right there so we can still kind of see him. Um, what they would say to you is that they really wish they could. It's almost like they know that they cannot set their pride aside or they know this about themselves. They are they feel guilty and they feel regretful for some of you it might be more guilt for some of you it might be more regrets but either way there's regret involved because this person um, they know that they are avoidant when it comes to the real emotional work now this feels like someone that they might even struggle to connect with like like their best friend may not even know like certain things about them. The person that they call a close friend may not be at the same level that you call your best friend. Um, and this might be because this person's just guarded and closed off. They might just feel safer in like more surface level, um, more surface level connections. Uh, this person, when it comes to marriage or commitment or responsibility, they, it's something that they are not. Okay, here's the thing. This person has a lot of responsibilities and this person shows up for them and they have some kind of role or some kind of title to play. And it's like, this is, this is who they are, right? So it's like when it comes to their career, when it comes to their work, when it comes to whatever that is, the person in the community, it's like they're very secure in that role and they know where they stand. But when it comes to whatever the dynamic was between you guys, um, if it was romantic or, you know, for a lot of you, it might be, it's like, it's easier for them to retreat. It's, it's easier for them to not go after what they want when it comes to love, when it comes to emotional fulfillment. So that's why they kept it surface level with you. They love to have fun. They love to laugh. Um, you know, they probably look good. They dress cute. Um, they might have like a certain style. But this person is also like regretful that they didn't make things clear to you or they didn't know how else to approach the situation with you. Um, it almost feels like they know they're stubborn. They, now, they're stubborn. You can't tell them that, though. That It has to come from them. Remember, it has to come from them is what it's feeling. This person would like a new beginning with you. Um, they would like to start new, but they don't go for it or they're not going for it because they don't want the pressure of committing. Uh, this person could have been divorced at some point or had some kind of um, situation happen where they had to step up or they had to, you know, do something and it ended up being painful. They were heartbroken or maybe you're the one that's heartbroken with this three of swords. But I... I'm not seeing this person as even um, talking about their emotions. So if you're wondering how they're feeling, they are feeling sad and they're feeling regretful. And even though they wish that you guys could have some kind of fresh start, some kind of new beginning, they're not like willing to get up off of their little lazy boy throne over here. Yeah, they're avoidant. And they just, they don't have it in them. This person doesn't have the courage to reach out to you and say, I'm sorry. Um, or, hey, I know that we didn't, I didn't leave things on a good note or we didn't end on the best. 
note. Now, if this is someone you're currently, um, you're currently dealing with, they're just, they're, they got their mind on their money and their money on their mind, or maybe it's their work, their stability. And that's what they're focused on right now. They feel like their life is like chaotic enough as it is. And they have to stand firm. This person did have desire um, for something more with you or something different with you. Um, but for now, they're just kind of choosing to live with the regret. They're hoping that with time, things kind of sort out or they don't have to do anything. It doesn't have to come from them because it's not going to. This person shuts down emotionally as well. They're not someone who, um, I'm sorry to say group number ones, but I'm not picking up that they were like, um, I'm so in love with group number ones. I just need to get back to group number ones or I need to make it right. Or no, they're kind of in their own, they're in their own world right now. And to be honest, they're coming up as a coward. This, I've never even made this connection like in a reading before, but I just got Wizard of Oz. The Cowardly Lion. That's what this person is. But I don't, uh, you guys don't judge me, but I've never watched The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> um, I grew up in a Mexican household. We didn't watch that kind of stuff. But anyway. Maybe someone did, and that's meaningful to you. We have Leo, Scorpio, Aries, and an unavailable person. Yeah, this person's a taker. Maybe they there was a lack of reciprocity with you. The romance isn't there. They're not coming up as being romanticals. They're conflicted, but they know that if they um, came back around or contacted you or, um, you know, tried to make amends that they, they're not, it's almost like they're not here to stick around or they're not here to promise you more. All right. Very strong messages. This person is coming off as completely uh, just not available. They're, they're the King of Cups in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Emperor upright. So they're not, they're not looking for love. They're not looking for a home. They're looking for their money or whatever they have their, their um, material sites on, their comfort. This person also does not get out of their comfort zone. They're not, honestly, um, even if they act like the most confident person when it comes to certain things, they're, they're not. So it's almost like a suit. All right. What else can we know, please? If this person was honest about their feelings, what would they say to my group number one? Messages for my group number ones, please. You might be, you're dealing with someone that doesn't know how to emotionally uh, regulate themselves or maybe even tap into their emotions, they probably make more, um, like not decisions from the heart. It's like what makes sense. And right now, even if they do have regrets or if they feel like they owe you an apology or something could be patched up, they're not, they're not going there. All right. Well, what would they say if they were being honest about their feelings to my group number ones? Thank you, spirit. What would they say? All right, well, this person is very much about winning. Literally, they, they want to win. That six of wands, that sun card. They like getting attention. And they feel like they had to kind of let you go or let this go. I don't know if you're dealing with someone that was divorced. I can't remember if I said that in the first part of your reading or that was married because that energy is still kind of coming through unless you were married to this person or unless, you know, you guys felt like this was counterpart energy because that is coming through. 
They loved your attention. Yeah, there's something here about attention and how that makes you feel. And that leaves you upset. And it leaves someone feeling like they won. This person is, they might be a fire sign. They were in it for the fun. Here for a, a fun time, not a long time is what I'm getting. And they like being spontaneous. They like the, the fieriness. They like the, the impulsiveness. That's what makes them happy. But besides that, they, this person wants their independence. And they seek out this um, attention from others when they're feeling like they need it. So if this person's shining brightly in their work or um, on their social media or stuff like that, it's like they, they love to look like they're doing really well. So you might even see them uh, or see pictures or, you know, whatever. Maybe you come across them and you're like, wow, they look so happy or they look like they're doing good. And it's like, well, they like to look good. And again, I don't, I do not like this energy. The Queen of Cups in reverse and the Six of Wands. Like, what the fuck? Get out of here. Like. Boom. I feel like doing that to this person <laughs> and energetically removing them from, from you, my group number one. What a menace. Why the seven of wands and the moon? Oh, look at that. The devil. I don't know. This hierophant and the devil, toxic marriage or toxic, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a cultural difference or I don't know. We're going to put that. Maybe this person um, knows they have a problem. But it's almost like they defend that problem. You know, I, it's like, no, I, I don't do that. And then they're like, yeah, I totally do that. But I'm not going to let everyone else know that I that I'm on to them. What else? Please put the three cups. Oh, yeah. They liked the attention, guys, and they liked the fun you guys have, or it could have been fun. I don't know how long you guys entertained this and to what degree. Um, and a part of them, this is going to make some of you really upset. A part of them wants to remain friends. But again, it would be to their benefit. Yeah, this person plays games. It's almost like they can't tell us how they feel because they don't even know how they feel. They cover it up with attention and, and money or new things or a nice car or their charm. They're, uh, you know, they got something going for them and they know how to work it. But this is given off the vibes of they don't, um, they don't express themselves clearly. This person thinks about this. Yeah, this person thinks about this pretty regularly, so I don't know how long it's been. If it's been a really long time since you've heard from this person, then uh, maybe that doesn't apply to you, but I'm picking up on someone who's really in their head. And they do miss you, but here's the thing. When they think about coming towards you, it's, again, it's in this reversal. It's in that page of wands. It's in the, oh, there he is. <laughs> I was like, I thought he was on the table already. Um, because they, they think that they, they have a lot of fun with you. You guys like understand each other or they can laugh with you. They can be silly. They can have a, a smart conversation. You know, you guys shoot the shit and you guys like get along, you know, but they also know it's like, if they came towards you, they would be sweet talking you and charming you. And it's not like anything that they, it's not like they're coming in with intentions of providing more for you, right? Well, my group number one. So let's see if there's anything else you need to know. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else, please, that my group number one needs to know about what would this person say if they were honest about their feelings? Now, I kind of feel, my group number ones, that this reading um, should be more of a confirmation um, because if it's completely shocking or completely surprising to you that this person was just kind of playing games or just kind of came to you when they wanted to be 
hugged, loved, coddled, whatever, made felt good. Um, and you know, only you know who you're dealing with. But this definitely feels like it's some for someone that's dealing with someone that's only come in for their benefit. Very stubborn. All right, thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. What would this person say if they were being honest? That they have little, little feelings with their little, little heart. That they keep little, little locked away in a tiny little box. <laughs> All right. Messages for my group number ones. What else do they need to know? What would this person say? You know, their their feelings for you are coming up as a page of cups, you know? Uh, that's a tiny little cup, if you ask me. If you're an empress and you're being given a page of cups from an emperor, I don't know if that's enough, babes, to quench, to quench the thirst. So I'm going to be honest with you. This person low-key kind of doesn't feel like things are done here. Um... And this is almost serving as a little cautionary tale for you, my group number ones, especially if this sounds familiar. It's not going to be for everyone, but this person may try to come back around. I am seeing that, but you have to know that if they do, it's just for sex. It's just for your attention or it's just for a moment of spark. It's fire-based. It's not cup-based, meaning it's passion. It's not emotional. When they come in, They'll try to be as emotional as they can. I mean, how emotional can, you know, can a little piece of metal left outside in the winter be? But that's what they're going to try to offer you. This person has a lot of regrets. And to be honest, they are very confused. It's like they give themselves so many options and then they kind of, they're not realizing that that's not the best way to go about things. So you could be also dealing with someone who's like a grass is greener on the other side. The other message here for you, my group number ones, is this person, they want to be the ones to like come to you. Because they feel like if you were trying to patch something up or you came towards them or you try to push them too much about how they feel, they're going to retreat. They're going to go back in their cave. So you might see them from time to time when they pop up with their wand. Look at how, look at how excited. Look at how excited they are just holding it. Look at just holding it, right? Honestly, it's giving Drake vibes. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, yeah, that's what they're doing. And they're just like waving it around. Like, look, look how cool I am. And we're all like, what in the, <laughs> the world? Ah, oh, this person's closed off. Yeah. This person, uh, literally, I think for some of you now only take this if it resonates, but for some of you, um, this person really does think that there's still a door open or at least a jar. Maybe the window's cracked for them with you. So that's why I was giving you a little bit of a cautionary, cautionary tale. You might have a little certified lover boy on your hands. Now, again, they're saying I'm closed off because of what happened or like, uh, you know, they're holding on to something. This person also grips onto control and their independence. They're, they're almost like overprotective of it. Look at that. So it's like they run away from situations where they're like, oh, I'm claustrophobic, I'm choking. And you're like, bro, I literally just asked you if I was going to hear from you tomorrow or if I was going to see you this weekend and it's only Monday. Like what? Y'all, people cannot handle straightforward conversations. And it's so uh, disappointing to those of us that are like, what? Like, why? So yeah, friends, if you were to be, have an upfront conversation with this person before they're ready, I, it, it's almost like they would endure it and then they would disappear. All right. You're dealing with a runner, perhaps. Regardless, whoever I'm picking up on, you're dealing with someone that's pretty, they're like, 
they're only thinking about themselves when they come towards you. I was going to call them selfish, but I don't know if they're selfish in their life or just when it comes to the attention that you would give them or that they would get from you or others. Like I said, I think I called them a taker. Thank you, spirit. They do love to shine, though. Messages for my group number ones, please. Faith, disruption. What did I tell you? This person still kind of thinks that the door is open. They're focused on their money and their success. What was that song? Money, success, power. We have disruption, isolation, illumination, ghost. They're coming back around or they're going to try. Those are the things from the past. That could even be a ghost from their past that hasn't been laid to rest. Then we have growth and success. That's what they're currently focused on um, right now. Now, my group number ones, only you know who you're dealing with. Just be careful. You guys know I love you guys. Um, be careful because they're going to try and get some of that good, good from you, whatever it is that you give them, your advice, your attention, your loving, your body, your food. This person will take it. Your gin, they'll drink that too. All right, let's see what we got here. We have W-Z-X-G-I-N-P-H. Oh, no, this person's going to mess up your P-H, my friends. If you know, you know. L, and that's all. Listen, that's all you got to know about that person. L-U-T and D. Let, Lud. All right, I'll leave those there for you. My group number ones, that's what I have for you. Grind? Oh, hopefully not. A grinder? I don't know. Well, I had to throw that out there. All right, guys, I'm done. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hello, my group number twos. If you picked a sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into what would they say if they were totally honest about their feelings? What would this person on your mind say? Friends, remember, please only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest for someone else. This reading, I feel like it should be more like validation um, as to maybe what you're already feeling. Um, through the messages, you might be able to like kind of feel if this is like, yeah, this matches my situation. So if something is confusing or you don't know who I'm talking about, like do not try to force it and make it fit. Um, that might just be a sign that it's not your story. I also want to say thank you to the subscriber that requested this reading. Um, I love the topic because it's one that we haven't done here. And if you've already submitted your ideas and suggestions for future topics, um, don't worry, I have a running list. I am going to be doing the ones that we haven't done on the channel before, and then I'll start cycling through some of our other topics and refreshing those readings. I know a lot of you, um, for I feel like I've seen several comments that are asking for like a future spouse or a when I'll meet my next partner. So we'll definitely be covering that. If there's something that you would like to see me covered and it hasn't been mentioned, please feel free to head on over to the community page. That's the easiest place for me to um, look through topics. All right, my group number twos. You guys ready? Group number one took me for a ride. But let's see, my group number twos, what is going on with this person? And if they were honest, what would they, what would they say? What would they say? Thank you, spirit, for these messages from my group number twos. Messages from my group number twos, please. This person that they came to this reading for. What would this person say if they were being totally honest about their feelings? What would this person say? Thank you, spirit. What would this person say if they were being honest about their feelings with my group number twos? Messages from my group number twos, please. What would this person say? if they were being honest about their feelings. Did we have a flipper? Oh no, we have a random card. The 10 of wands in reverse. Well, let's see if that's relevant. That's been happening lately. Let's put that back. All right. What would they say if they were honest about their feelings? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number twos. Messages for my group number twos. What would this person on their mind say? If they were being honest about their feelings, what would they say? It's just from group number two. That they have a lot of inner turmoil. That's for one. Yeah, this person's regretful. This person um, holds a lot of stuff in. 
they would tell you that they feel the loss. Messages for my group number twos. What would this person say if they were being honest about their feelings? Let's put this here, actually. They're not feeling stable, that's for sure. This person's trying to connect with you, um, like thinking about you. Maybe they meditate. Maybe they've been dreaming about you. They've been keeping their distance because they feel like there's some kind of fight or tension. And they don't know exactly why for some of you. For others of you, this is bringing up a lot of deep emotion. Okay, so your person, it's, they're going through a deep transformation that I feel you are a part of. This person doesn't even know how to say this because they, I don't even know if they know that they're going through this. They know that things are quiet between you. They know that they have regrets. They feel guilty. Um, some of them are sad. They're, if you guys aren't together, if something happened between you, it's, there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of secrecy and there's a lot of keeping it within, like keeping it suppressed. This person is showing up to work, showing up to their life, their responsibilities, and this is everything that they're kind of carrying within them. Now, I don't know if they're thinking about this all day long, but I know emotionally it feels like, ooh, it just felt like a weight, just a weight being pulled to the bottom. This person would tell you that they, oh, oh bitches, I wasn't trying to put a Delulu checkpoint, but I'll put one right there for us. This person would tell you that they know you're their soulmate. Oof. Listen, that got me excited. Let me, let me get swept away in the juice. I love this for us. But this person, they feel this deep connection with you. This person dreams about you. They would tell you that they've, um, oh my God, who is this? <sighs> this person would tell you that they've seen a life with you. Now, a part of them, for some of them, it's like they've gotten a glimpse into another timeline, especially if this is someone who is spiritual or is tapping into their abilities to connect with you. This feels like this is someone that knows that you are a spiritual person. And that is like the link that they have to you. And that's what they use right now as a source of comfort. What in the, listen, I'm, I'm getting choked up over here. I just heard I'm not ready. And then as I said that, I got a glimpse of the four of pentacles with the hermit that would have gone there. They're not ready. They're closed off. Why the hermit? They would also tell you that they have a lot that is like causing drama in their life. And they're getting away from it as we speak. They're maybe working on some of their own addictions and some of their own patterns. And they would tell you that they see you as their counterpart. This person is not there yet. This person right now, they don't feel like they might not have like a home of their own or a place of their own, or they might have roommates or they don't like where they live. Um, they, they don't, um, you know, they're, they're not, they're, they're not where they want to be, but if they were where they want to be, it's like, you would be the one that they want, would want to be there with. Now this person, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're a king of wands. So they're out here, they're living their life. They're doing their thing. They're going after their passions. They feel very creative. They feel very money driven, um, which it's 2024, you know, it's like, how can we not have that at the forefront. And honestly, it's really fucking sad that we're all living in a time where our finances affect our love life so much. And that goes for people that have to stay together longer because of the finances or people that can't focus on love or don't feel like they're ready. It's like all of these things, right, that we've been set up for that uh, it's like our, you know, these, these years, um, it's a thing. And that's why it comes through so much in our readings. So when I say like they want money or they're trying to get that secure, it's like, well, you know, we can't really knock them down for that. Like we can't really knock them for that because, you know, 
life is fucking life in right now for all of us, friends. Sending you guys all so much love. Now, this person, they are at some kind of crossroads. We're going to see what that is in a minute. I do know, though, that right now that you guys are not talking, they feel like they are work. I'm telling you, they feel like they're releasing themselves from some kind of pattern or some kind of karmic, maybe, relationship. They're healing during this time that you guys are apart. Some of you could feel you're like twin flames. Oh, but you know what? This person, oh, okay. So first of all, they're holding on to you. That's for sure. You haven't, you haven't gone anywhere. Look at how many, look at how many lovers we have. We have these two. We have these two. Then we have these two. And then we have these two. You're still very, and even we have the two dogs over here, the two wolves. You are still very much a part of this person's energy. This person suppresses a lot and they're keeping the sadness, they're keeping grief and they're keeping despair really like smashed down really good. They're hiding this, but they're also dealing with a lot of like um, spiritual stuff that's trying to like come through. Purging of old cycles, purging of old things. And it's very, um, I think it's this connection with you is very different from this person. That's something else that they would tell you. They're also asking you to be patient. Please only take that if it resonates. No one's trying to wait for nobody out here. Yeah, this person's holding on to you. They're they're almost like a little possessive because they're very attracted to you. They would tell you how much, how attracted they are to you, how they feel like you're theirs, that they want this beginning with you. They love your independence. They like how unbothered you are. <laughs> they, um, mm, yeah, they like how unbothered you are by like things that like you don't let like certain things get you down. Some of you guys could be like pretty bubbly or just like really forward, really outgoing. They're saying it's timing. They haven't let this go. This person's just... You guys, I'm kind of thinking that you live um, a fantasy of you. We're going to call it fantasy because it's almost like giving this person something to look forward to. This new beginning. They're like, oh, in the future, I can't wait. I can't wait when I move or when I move forward, when I have more when my resources aren't lacking or when we, it's just, there's an energy here of coming together and meshing together. This person wants to mesh with you, bitches, what? And then I see the 10 of cups, listen, listen. We have Cancer, Pisces, Aries, <laughs> Earth signs, fire signs, your mama signs, everybody signs. All right, okay, two of cups, okay, twin flaming. Who's the twin flame? This person, I don't know if they know that term, but they're feeling it. They're feeling something, guys. They got a little eternal flame for you. <laughs> messages for my group number twos, please. What else can you tell the spirit? Thank you. Thank you for these messages for my group number twos. What would they say if they were honest about their feelings? What would this person say if they were honest about their feelings towards my group number twos? What would they say? Thank you, spirit. What would they say if they were being honest about their feelings? They feel like they don't have stability to give you right now. It's surrounding home or a foundation. Maybe they recently switched careers, switched jobs, or um, I don't know. Uh, a, a living situation keeps coming up for some reason. <clears throat> they just don't feel stable in their foundation. 
what did they say? All right, we have Scorpio. They're bringing an ending. Yeah, what did I tell you? Ooh, this person's trying to look at two sixes. That to me, when two sixes come together, it's like the lovers for me. That's what it makes me feel. It makes me feel of a symphony, a symphony that's completing, that's still playing. This person is bringing about some kind of shift or transformation. And they want something solid here. They want to level things up. They want to reunite. And they're, this person literally feels like your soul family or soulmate, if they know what that is. And even if they don't, it's like you're always living within them. You're like in their heart, in their mind, their, in their essence. They might like smell you. For some of you, there's something here about smell. Or think that they see you. Yeah, but they don't feel... They're, they're saying, but I'm, I, it's like they feel like they're so far from that or they're just not there yet. They might have, a, I don't know if it's a confidence issue. Oh my gosh, what did I say? I said, that's like the lover's card to me. And the lover's card was like, you rang? And I was like, yes, bitch, I did ring. You guys, you want to know something funny that's been happening lately? I love how I talk to you guys like you guys can talk back. Um, I've been summoning... I literally have been summoning. I've been saying like names out loud or like things out loud and then they show up. I think that happened in another reading the other day as well. This person's moving on from something. They think about a conversation that you had with them. Oh, they're thinking about... Mm, you've offered a lot of support to this person. This person, they think you're so smart and they just view you as like an all around package. Um, but it makes sense. Like, if, you know, if this is your soulmate if, or if, you know, this is someone that has a deep bond with you, like even even if you don't believe in soulmates, but let's just call it a deep bond. You know, they think about things that you've said to them. There's also maybe some kind of information as well that you've been given or that you've given them. We have the Knight of Cups. Why the lovers, please? They want to talk to you. They want to, they want to show you. They don't want to tell you because they're saying that they're not good at expressing themselves. And they're saying like, you know, you know, when we talk, you know, when we sit together, you know, when we interact, you know, when we exchange energy to whatever degree they're saying, you know. So if you don't know, I don't know if this is your story, friends, because they're pretty adamant. They're like, you see it, you know. They're saying, I don't express myself the best. I can't talk. I can't say these things, but I want to show you. And they also know that they're not like, they haven't been the best at that. Why the fool? So a new beginning after something broke apart. Yeah, this could have been a, a marriage or a maybe something that they're obligated to. And it, it's, it's like they, they know that they can't or they don't have, they don't have what they need. Yeah. So for now, we sleep. For now, we, we lay dormant. This person's walking, or oh no. This person feels like you're walking away. Or like they're afraid you're going to walk away or get away because they know that you've been waiting or I don't know, it's been so long. That's their ego. Maybe some of you are. But at the same time, this person knows that they're, there's like, right now they don't, they're not ready. We have the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups. If this person drinks, they think about you when they're drinking. But either way, this person's got a nice little uh, Ace of Wands for you. They have a... <laughs> 
After I said that, I was going to say they have a soft spot for you, but they do. <laughs> yeah, this person has some deep love for you. As deep as the ocean floor. What? Calm down. You mean as hidden as the ocean floor? Oh, no. Now I'm talking to your person. That's funny that they brought me to that. All right. Yeah, this person um, reminisces about you guys hanging out. And, and they hide the fact that... Um, I don't know if they're hiding you, but they're definitely hiding the fact that this is how they feel or this is how they think about you. Listen, group number twos, what in the my heart will go on, but I thought the old lady dropped it into the ocean at the end happened. <laughs> All right, my group number twos, who just watched Titanic? Messages for my group number twos. What would this person say? What else do we need to know about what this person would say if they were honest about their feelings? Ghost. Yeah, it's something from the past that needs to be laid to rest. It's going to come back around as well. We have comfort. What did I say? You're a source of comfort to this person. They feel the energy between you guys. Even if you guys don't see each other, you're literally, you, you're with this person. We have disruption. There's what brought you guys to a halt. And we have hunger. This person wants you they want more. They want you. They want more with you. We have isolation. This is what's going on right now. This person feels like if they're successful and they have money and they can like take care of you or have something to offer you, it's like that's what you deserve. Until then, they're in isolation. So it definitely feels like in this group, it does not feel like things are over unless you want them to be, of course, my group number two, but this person still very much feels that you guys have a lot left to live together. I'm going to say it. All right. What do we got here? We have book. There's a Spanish band called Los Bukis. So maybe oh, I know some of you guys know them for sure. Marco Antonio Solis, you know, he's got some beautiful ass love songs. So maybe um, someone here speaks Spanish. Maybe they listen to love songs thinking of you. Oh, if they do, they also like like um, certain rancheras. Look, <gasps> look what we have. L-O-V-E. Listen, I'm going to relish in it because you guys watch these readings all the time. You know, we got to get it in when we can. We have phone. D-U-R, Durango. Yeah, someone's Mexican here besides me. We have J. All right, that's what I have for you. We have two U's. All right, maybe double, double letters. Okay, my group number two, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked a sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we are going to be looking into what would they say if they were honest about their feelings, friends. Let's get into it. Group one and two have been super specific. So if this reading is um, sounding confusing to you or if you're having a hard time figuring out who I'm talking about, that just might be a sign that it's not your story and that's okay. I also want to thank the subscriber that requested this topic and gave the suggestion. Um, it's not one that we've done on the channel, and I, I was like, yes, that sounds perfect. Um, so if you guys have an idea of a topic you'd like to see me cover, head on over to the community page and leave me a little comment over there. Um, I definitely see some great ideas, and there are some that um, we've already covered on the channel, but I am going to start on the newer topics, and then we're going to start cycling through to freshen up some of those older readings. I know a lot of you have been asking for future spouse, and when are you going to meet your person, and stuff like that, and I can't wait to get into those. And so, yeah, thank you if you've left me a suggestion. All right, my friends, my group number three, let's get into it. Let's see what messages come through for you today. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. My group number threes, please, Spirit. This person that they came to this reading for, the person that they're coming to this reading for, 
what would they say if they were honest about their feelings to my group number threes? What would this person say if they were being honest about their feelings? What would this person say if they were being honest about their feelings? Messages for my group number threes, please. What would this person say to my group number threes if they were being honest about their feelings? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. Messages for my group number threes, please. What would this person say if they were being honest about their feelings? What would this person say? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. What would this person say? We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Guru in Reverse and the Seven. Messages for my group number threes. What would this person say to them if they were being honest about their feelings? interesting well what they would say to you is that they're confused they're confused over someone moving on and letting this go they feel like you cared for them or you loved them or maybe that's them towards you but then they're like wait what happened or what's going on here? Maybe the way that you took care of this person or showed them affection or were there for them or understood them, they were like confused by it at first because they weren't used to someone like you. Why the guru, please? What would this person say if they were being honest? Well, if they were being honest, they would say that they love you too. But this person is like, oh, that emperor just always comes and rains on a love reading. Who's going somewhere? There's this, look at all this movement, this chariot, the six of swords, someone's moving forward. They, they think you've let them go. They thought that there was like love and care here. Maybe they still feel, no, I think they still feel it. But they're also like confused by something and they're not showing it. It's like they're, they're trying to remain very stoic and very guarded about what's going on. It's like if this person could tell you how they feel, I, I feel like for some of you, they're confused over how things are progressing or you may be letting them go. Uh, they might even feel like you're returning back to something or you're turning your back away from them. For some of you, this triggered them. This person has an issue with commitment or they, yeah, they have some kind of issue with commitment. Why the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse? What would this person say to my group number threes if they were being honest about their feelings? Why the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse? The Ace of Cups. That they, they want, they're going to reconcile with you. They want to. There's a big streak of independence here. Is someone needing to be free or single? Why the Knight of Cups in Reverse with that Four of Wands? Oh, they miss you, bitches. Mm-hmm. They're reminiscing over you. They're thinking about a time spent at your house, perhaps, or somewhere that you guys came together, somewhere where you laughed and had a good time and connected with them. They're thinking back to that. Someone here travels or is going somewhere, or maybe that's them coming towards you. I don't know. This person sees things like moving forward. Someone's moving forward. Transforming as well. Why the guru in reverse? That's just for my group number threes. Yeah, they're holding back. They, they don't want commitment. Like even though they have, you know, they love you. They have feelings for you here. They're not letting their feelings kind of uh, make decisions for them. 
So that's why they're remaining stoic. But they do think about you. They think of reuniting with you. They're wondering if it's no longer returned or if you no longer feel that way. By the Seven of Cups, what would they say if they were being honest with their feelings? They're confused over what they want with you because they weren't expecting to feel this way. And their inability to kind of figure out how they feel or why they feel this way, they're, what they can't tell you, I mean, they can, but I almost feel like I don't know if they have the ability to because it's not like, it almost feels like whatever, I almost can't even talk. It's like whatever bond or love or connection happened between you guys, they weren't expecting it and it threw them off. That's why they're in the seven of cups. They think about this a lot. They think of the scenarios. They think about what, what it would be like, what would happen. And honestly, some of these cups are filled with um, love and some of them are filled with fear. Some of them are filled with coping mechanisms. Some of them might be feel, filled with grass is greener on the other side. What if this is just what it feels like right now? And then I get myself into another situation. So for some of you, it is like someone that's already had like some kind of experience, relationship, marriage, whatever it is, right? Where they thought they felt one way and then it turned out to be another. So this is why, what keeps them stuck in place. They have a lot of things that are pulling at their energy and that are keeping them from being able to move on. This person also has a hard time trusting in love or in relationships. So that's where the triggering came from. If you did walk away from them, it's almost like a part of them was like, see, everyone leaves or see, uh, they, they, they did give up. Now, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but I do feel like someone here is moving forward or moving on and they're like, we're going to reconcile again. For some of you, they might think that you rec reconciled elsewhere and you're looking for happiness elsewhere. But this person, they would also tell you how much you mean to them, how, how much they feel for you, and how happy they are when, when they're with you. They think you're, they love how you talk. They, they watch you. But they're getting real in their head thinking that you're not going to be, you're not going to be there. They're feeling stuck. This person's definitely an overthinker. I don't know how much of a talker they are. They're not coming off as being too talkative. But they are coming off as someone that's in their head and they feel stuck over what to do. They know that they... They did something. I mean, you know what they did because it feels, I don't, yeah, they could have, they could have been avoidant. Well, that's the other thing is that they are avoidant. Maybe you had a conversation with them or you brought down a boundary and it was obvious that you weren't happy. Maybe not enough time was spent or investment. Right now it feels like you guys are on a break. And they're trying to decide what to do. And they're trying to, they, oh, look, there you are. They would tell you. So for a lot of you, they see you in their future, but they're not ready to go in that direction yet. And they feel like you're moving on or you're moving forward. Now, look, you're coming off as a counterpart. They get excited at this. They get excited at the thought of coming towards you. And they know that you had to do what was best. We're going to put her here because I, I think a lot of you are moving forward. They know that you had to do what was best for you. But they still keep an eye on you. They're super attracted to you. They just love who you are as a person. 
why the page of swords please one more oh some of you unexpectedly they saw something online and you kind of broke their little grinch heart <laughs> where's the violin get the mini violin bitches we're about to play it no nah, but for real some of you shocked this person by letting them go you could have left them on red you could have unfollowed or blocked i'm not getting blocked but i am getting that something happened maybe there was a text maybe you broke up with them over text or you said you know what fool unless you can come in proper and correct this can't i'm not i'm not doing this anymore Maybe you didn't have to say anything, but I, this person feels like they saw something online and someone let this go. Maybe they think you saw something and they are not happy. Their ego got, they got triggered. They got triggered. Yeah, they did. They went through the motions, you guys. They went from everything to being the victim to being the, the one that doesn't care, to being the unfazed one, to being the one that's in the corner crying secretly, to being the one that's lurking, you know, in the bathroom, when they're in the bathroom, looking at your, trying to look at your social media when no one else can see. Listen, this person was going through it. Whatever you did, they were not expecting it and it hit them. It hit them like a ton of bricks. Uh-huh. It took a, it was like a knock to their self-esteem. So yeah, for a lot of you, they think you moved on. You could have gone elsewhere with someone else. And they know why you did it, but they're not, they're not happy about it. Yeah, this left them, it left them upset. Wow, they got mad. Well, what did they do to deserve it, right? Listen, I'm always on your side, group number threes. And if you were the culprit, well, I'm still on your side. <laughs> all right, let's see what else here. I think we got it all. Let's pull one more time. All right, thank you, spirit. The plot thickens, my group number threes. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. What would this person say if they were being honest about their feelings? What would this person say to my group number threes if they were being honest with their feelings? What would this person say if they were being honest? What would they say if they were being honest with their feelings? Thank you, Spirit. One more. What would they say? Thank you. What would they say? If they were being honest about their feelings. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Devil in reverse, Five of Wands, Five of Swords. What would they say? Well, they would want to blame something from either their childhood or a long-term situation that didn't work out maybe a past relationship past marriage or there's something here from the past though that was toxic and they had to release it but because they released it it caused a lot of conflict um maybe this is even no i don't think this is you honestly it kind of i don't want to say that they're blaming something else but the vibe is kind of there because this person is just they're ruminating look at these two fives this person's having a hard time with this. This person might feel like um, there's a, maybe it's a family situation, a home or something that's keeping them from being able to think clearly. It's almost like it's really loud around them or they have like a lot of people or a lot of things kind of pulling at their energy. Yeah, they had to bring something to an end. And this not talking situation, it's like they're very conflicted about it. They're very conflicted about what happened. I don't know. That's not for those of you that this was an argument. This is for those of you that you just kind of 
you know, I don't believe in announcing my exit and maybe you guys don't either. And you guys just peaced out and said, okay, well, if that's how it is, that's how it is. And I think this person is like, wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? What happened? What I do? What they do? Why are they doing that? Of course they'd walk away, but it's like literally like going through the motions, right? We'd be doing that. And this person is like really conflicted. Like they want an opportunity here with you, but they, they don't even know like how to, how to tuck it through because it's almost like it can't leave their mind. This person had a big transition in their life or they're going through one or they're about to with that world card. Now, for some of them, they might feel like they're the devil and you dropped them and you brought an ending to this. But that's all part of all those questions, right? Because this person is like, they're, they're not thinking clearly. They're ruminating. Why the Knight of Wands? One more. The moon. They have a lot of fear here over getting their heart broken. And I think this showed them. This showed them that they could be affected. It's interesting because I don't think that this person. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you. It feels like they're struggling. I, I don't think that they can uh, verbalize how they feel because they're feeling five of swords, five of wands. It's a lot of conflict. So then they act out impulsively as well. And that's something else that they would admit to is that they know that they haven't been the most consistent and they know they've been in and out. And they feel like their behavior has left you with the wrong impression of them. Or there's something here that they feel you just don't know, or they, they, it hasn't been clarified. It's like, yeah, I do think that it, it feels like they left a bad taste in your mouth or they left a bad impression and they're trying to figure out. They're also used to dealing with people that play games. So they weren't expecting you to do that, whatever that tower was, they weren't expecting you to do that. And right now they're just like letting it be for what it is. They miss you. They miss talking to you a lot. They think about things that you said to them they, at nighttime. Yeah, they're coming. They think about you a lot and fantasize, but they're also like hiding this. They're also like not acknowledging to themselves that they can make a decision, but they just don't. This person is kind of wallowing in their sadness. Oh, I didn't even realize that's three fives. We have the five of cups, five of wands and five of swords. Yeah, this person is having a tough time. We have the three of pentacles. You guys might still have to work together. There's regrets here. And there's a big energy of ignoring or like being bored or kind of disassociating. This person, they ignore their feelings or they ignore what makes them happy. This person, they could have to like um, co-parent with someone or work in an environment where it makes it uncomfortable for them. So they just have to ignore this. So maybe that's for those of you that know this person through like work or something. Hmm. Wow, my group number three is wrong deck. Let's see if there's anything else. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else that this person would say if they were being honest about their feelings? Anything else honest about their feelings? The death card didn't come out. Emperor and Four of Wands. That they want. They're waiting to become this emperor. This person doesn't want to come back towards you unless they are this emperor, unless they feel stable. And they're thinking and they, they think about you a lot. They think back, they remember, but they're also waiting. This person doesn't like to lose. What else would they tell them if they were being honest about their feelings? The two of cups. But they're going to, oh, bitch. Listen, 
I'm glad I buckled up into my seat because we're riding a roller coaster. That's what they would tell you, that they're waiting for them to become this emperor and have the stability. Maybe they're even trying to up-level their um, position, their home, their something, and that's what they're waiting for. Yeah, they could have brought an ending to a chapter in their life, and that's still something that's being sorted through. But this person, they're saying that they're going to come back to you because there's still more here. This separation or this time you dropping them like a hot potato, whatever happened, it's given them a new outlook on this, especially the longer time passes. This person has a lot of passion for you as well. It's all buried in secret. <laughs> Listen, group number threes, that's what I'm picking up. You guys will have to let me know if you liked um, this topic. I think I did. <laughs> All right, my group number three. So let's get some Oracle cards and initials for you guys. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. And this person, what would they say if they were honest about their feelings? What else can you tell us, Spirit? Thank you, messages for my group number threes. Growth. This person has a lot of anxiety. They're growing during this time apart. You guys could also have anxiety. We have space, we have mystery, confidence. So during this time, look how the one bright card, I mean, anxiety is bright too, but um, maybe their anxiety is even giving them insight. Like, damn, why am I feeling so anxious about group number three? Like, why do I care so much? You know, this person's afraid that you're going to like move on or maybe go back to an old person or something, something that isn't connected to them and, and they don't want that. That's why they're so torn, but they know that if they came towards you right now, they wouldn't be able to offer you consistency. Our candle just went out. So mystery, that's more of that moon card, Pisces energy as well. This person's taking their space and working on their confidence. Things are coming to light during this time. They're very fearful. Here's that ending. And they're trying to have the faith and keep the trust that things are going to work out here between you guys. All right, let's see. Wow, these came flying out. All right, we have M, I, G, Miguel. Ooh, there's the L. Miguel. That oh, makes me think of Muggle, too. I just watched all the Harry Potters. I cry so much, you guys. Snape is my all-time favorite. We have D, C, L. Keep it on the down low. Nobody has to know. What? I'm getting down low. You guys were on the down low, perhaps. Perhaps look, F-U-Q. I'll let you guys read that one to yourselves. We have F-T, which makes me think of FaceTime. We have G-V. Makes me think of a valley. All right. My group number three, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.